Okay, so got all the resistors installed and I'm gonna start soldering those resistors. Okay, so I have the, um, the resistors and the capacitors and the crystal soldered in and I installed the IC socket, the 40 pin chip socket, but it's not soldered yet. So I'm going to solder that now. Just have a uh, four corner lead spin over for the socket so that it stays in place. I'm going to solder those four first. The electrolytic capacitor, that's the larger one with two leads coming out the bottom. Um, that one has is polarity sensitive, so you need to make sure that you put the positive lead to the Plus, plus sign on the board. I'm just going down the row and soldering the 40 pins for the IC socket. So the resistors, when I installed them, they, they don't have a specific polarity as far as electronic circuitry goes, but um, it's just good practice to put them all, install them all in the same same direction so that the, the color code is readable um, and it's all the same on all the resistors. When, uh, when circuit boards are produced commercially, they're installed with a pick and place machine and it always installs them in a specific orientation. Okay, so, so we've got uh, all those connections made. Now let's uh, install the little voltage booster. Um, the, the batteries produce approximately three volts and this booster boosts up the voltage from 3 volts to 5 volts. So that's the purpose of this little booster. First I'm just going to tin the little the pads where it installs. And tin the pads on the board itself. the board on those 
pads and solder it, solder the board down. Also got to these pads where the wires connect for the power. Or the batteries, I should say. Okay. Now I've got the switch that needs to get installed. So now that I have it positioned, I'm just going to solder the other, the other leads. What's left is to solder all the LEDs in place well, and, and hook the battery wires up to the board. So I guess I can solder some wires onto these. This one's the positive. Look, it's red wire. black wire. Okay. The black wire goes here. It's labeled ground on the to the so it's plus three volts um, two pads that we previously tinned okay now we have all the LEDs to install LEDs have a, a plus sign and so the the longer lead the LED goes to the 
plus side. These are two wire RGB LEDs. So they get sent a, a serial code to or a serial pattern to, to change the color. And that's done by the microcontroller chip. So there's a, a little flat side on the shorter lead, which also is the negative side, so it's shown on the silk screen on the board. So I'll get all these LEDs installed and then and then get them soldered in. Okay, so I've got it all all the soldering connections done. So I have two AAA batteries. Let me get those installed. Before I close it up, I want to just do a quick test just to make sure that, yeah, there's power. Okay, so now there's a piece of foam that goes for the batteries, and then the board goes, installs inside, inside the case. The switch comes out the back through a slot in the back. So these shorter screws hold this circuit board on into the case. So I install those. Just get them started for now. Okay, so take these down. Install the top, top part of the case. And as the screws going from the back side, these are the longer screws, one on the top and one on the bottom. This one installs from the front. Okay, I guess I lost that screw. Good thing they give me an extra. not to over tighten them but I guess you have to tighten up to hold the case from rattling. <laughs> extra short one and an extra long screw. So let's try it out.
pretty amazing you can get all these different colors from a two wire LED. Okay, that's it. Um, it's working. Please uh, hit that thumbs up button, uh, the like. Give me a like by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe to my channel.